These days, you can adjust your pistol to fit your hand, and that is one factor in being able to shoot accurately. But building the right grip is the most important factor. Smith & Wesson pro shooter Julie Gollum shows you how. A proper grip is going to help you make a good shot on target, but it's even more important when you need to make follow-up shots and control recoil. In this pro tip, I'm going to walk you through the steps to get a proper grip and also help you choose one that will fit your hand. And to do that, I'm going to use the Smith & Wesson M&P M2.0 Compact, the 3.6 inch model, and we're going to be shooting it in 9mm. To start, I'm going to go through the strong hand placement on the grip. To start, you want to get a nice high grip along the back of the gun with your strong hand by nestling the web of your hand nice and high along the back of the grip. You don't want to grip too low because that's going to allow the gun to move a lot during recoil, but by gripping high, you'll have a lot of leverage against that muzzle flip. You also want to think about how you're gripping the gun with your strong hand. You want to grasp it strongly like a strong handshake, but you also want to be able to move your thumb and your trigger finger freely. Next, you'll bring your support hand into play, and you'll want to eliminate any spaces that you may create with your strong hand. To do that, we're going to deploy a wrist cant. This little extra bend is really going to help you control recoil. I'm simply going to eliminate any spaces by placing the base of my thumb along the base of this thumb like so, so that I can control recoil. Finally, this thumbs forward grip is going to be very helpful when you're transitioning from target to target to help you index the gun. The thumbs forward grip allows me to control recoil and use my thumbs to index or direct to the next target quickly. Let's talk about grip pressure. I mentioned how it's important to have a strong grip with your strong hand, but enough to move your thumb and your trigger finger. The vast majority of your power in your grip is going to come from your support hand. And you want to think of it as a vise clamping down on the front of your hand and the gun to help control that recoil. Now, if you choose an M&P, you have the option of four different back strap sizes to choose from for your grip. I like the small grip because I have small hands, but if you'll notice, I change out to the larger grip, that's going to mean that I have even less opportunity to reach the trigger. That's going to make it harder for me to hit my target, and it's also going to make it very tiring to shoot again and again. One of the best drills to test to see if you're using the correct grip size is a very common one we all know. It's called a bill drill, where you're going to shoot six shots in the center of the target as fast as you see the sights lift. Set your target at between 5 and 10 yards. If you only shoot as fast as you see the sights settle, focusing on accuracy to start, you'll begin to see how grip can affect how fast you can recover after the gun recoils. Slower shots with sporadic hits can indicate a grip that is too large. The bill drill is an excellent drill to help you learn how to grip the gun properly as well as control recoil. If you notice your hits start to stray outside of that center of the target, you know you're going a little too fast or perhaps you're not gripping the pistol properly. This is a great drill to test and take to the range to learn how to control recoil and improve your grip. And until next time, be safe and have fun.